off we go. Got the first one done. Feel pretty cool then, I think. What the hell is the power rule? Hi ho, hi ho. It's off the cap we go. I try to stay calm and I act like I don't care, but I just peep my underwear. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off the cap we go. Ask my teacher for help, but he says no go chai, and then I start to cry. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off the cap we go. This derivative test I'll do my best, but I think I might just fail. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off the cap we go. Whatever, I quit. I don't give a sh what's your language. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. It's off the cap we go. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mathematical Megan. Oh, I'm Zero Zach. I'm Calculus Cody. I'm Ashton Cody. I'm Quadratic Quinn. I'm Coefficient Caitlin. I'm Geometry John. Mr. Rainer, it's time for your intro clip. Get the hell away from me. Hello, welcome to Derivatives for Dummies. To warm your brains up, we're going to start off with some easy math with asymptote ace. Woo! Yeah! He's so hot! Hey, sir, can I have your autograph? Please, 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 please. Back off, kid. Oh. Okay, find x. equals xn, then f prime of x equals nx to the n minus 1. An example would be f of x equals x to the third. You bring your 3 out in front and then minus 1 to get the 2. So your f prime of x is going to equal 3x squared. This is the product rule. If f of x is equal to first of x times second of x, then f prime of x is equal to the first x times the second derivative plus the second of x times the first derivative. Here is an example problem. If f of x is equal to 2x squared times 5x to the fourth, then first prime of x is equal to 2x squared times 20x cubed plus 4x times 5x to the fourth. All right, this is the chain rule here. Now, with the chain rule, you just take the derivative of everything. So if you have f of x equals ux to the n, the f prime of x would have n parentheses u of x to n minus 1. And since you take the derivative of everything, you take u prime and multiply u prime of x to this equation. So as an example, f of x equals parentheses 2x to the fourth. You first start for f prime of x equals, it would be 4 parentheses 2x cubed, and then since you do the chain rule, which is 2x right here, you take that out and you have the 2 x or two multiply with this part of the equation. And with simple algebra, it comes out to be 16x cubed. And now, the quotient rule. If f of x equals the top function over the bottom function, then f prime of x equals the bottom function times the derivative of the top function minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom function all over the bottom function squared. For example, if f of x equals to 5x squared over 2x, then the quotient rule would make f, the prime of f of x equal to 2x times 10x minus 5x squared times 2, all over 2x squared.
one done feel pretty cool then I think what the hell is the power rule hi ho hi ho it's off to count we go I screwed <laughs> up one first we have the power rule crime <laughs> <laughs> this is the product rule so if F <laughs> This is the chain rule. Now, this is how to... Filming. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Yep. Let's go. go. Come on, John. Hey. Don't smile, Mr. Hater. It's not even funny at all. No, John, you're going to good. be accommodating to the short speech. I know. I was just saying, I'm just letting you know. Wait, can I have a fuse? Mr. Rainer's being nice and letting you shoot this video, so we can respect him. Oh, I am. Yep. Uh, well,